again just to show you that it works going both directions. The last time it cycled it was at 87.3 degrees and that's about I'm going to show an 87.2 right now, so I'll probably have to stand here for five minutes talking my fool head off until it gets the thermostat down to the point where it triggers. But as soon as the thermostat cools down below the hysteresis point, uh, it'll close the circuit. The 18 volt, uh, it's two 9 volt batteries in series. They'll send a surge of power through the relay, close the relay, should trip the 120 volt AC circuit, fire up the heat lamp inside the mechanism, and it should kick back on again. And so I'm standing here like a fool, talking and waiting for something to actually happen. Let me explain what I got in here. I've got the thermostat mounted on the far right of the inside of the igloo cooler. I've got a hundred reptile heat lamp uh, mounted on the left side of the cooler. The wiring is inside along with my 30 amp 12 volt actuated uh, relay. And uh, the batteries are also wired in series and they're inside. So right now we're just waiting. On the outside, right over here, you can see a little uh, 60 watt standard house light bulb wired into a socket that's in series with the heat lamp and I put that on the outside so that I could actually tell when the heat lamp came on on the inside because obviously without some sort of an indicator light you can't tell when it's working or when it's not. Let me just look real quick here. Well, now we're at 86.5 degrees and you can see it just cycled back on again. God I'm so easily amused. 